what's it been like this year playing under Steve Cherundolo and what's helping this team continue to get results and be in this type of form and momentum going into the playoffs? Yeah, no, I mean, I think it's been great. I think, uh, you know, that's, that's part of every season. You're going to have highs and lows. And I think for us, uh, we, we dealt with some adversity early on. So we actually learned a lot about ourselves. We are able to grow. And um, I think the, the, everyone's has been tremendous. I mean, whether, you know, coming from the bench, starting games, I think we've had a, a really deep roster. And uh, I think we have, a, you know, a great team to really, you know, make a run in the playoffs and, and hopefully lift a, up a trophy. Um, I know everyone always mentions, you know, LFC in the past years of, you know, falling short in the playoffs. But, you know, you, we have a different feeling for this group, for sure. And I think we can't really dwell on the past, but, you know, look ahead to the now and to the future. And um, like I said, we just take it one game at a time. But, I mean, over here, I can say the, the vibes are going well. Everyone's excited. Everyone's happy. And uh, I think it's just a, it's a different feeling, I would say. How has it changed for you personally? You, you play with Dallas, Colorado. You were kind of the big name. You, you were the guy. You play with LAFC, not to take anything away from what you mean to this team, but in terms of names, Gareth Bale. Carlos Vela, the expectations are on these guys, the big prime timers who have played in Europe to do the job. But there's no expectations on Bale. Re relax. But, uh, but <laughs> let me say, oh, okay. But yeah. Ilya Sanchez and you have been so important to this group. So can you talk about what your role has been with this group and how how different it is for you over the years of you being a professional? Yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, we have some star players, some big name players, and I think my role. Um, and I guess you can say Ilya's role is to make everyone around us jobs easier. Uh, I mean, I'm not a flashy player and I, you know, I don't, you know, make the headlines, but, you know, I, I just want to be, you know, a key cog um, in the midfield uh, on both sides of the ball, um, you know, and, you know, feed our star players, have them score some goals. And you've seen Carlos score some goals, uh, Chicho, uh, Gareth, I mean, even Giorgio in the back has been tremendous as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, my job is to, you know, fly under the radar, but, you know, be consistent in, in my role and, you know, help out in every aspect of the game that I can. Now, Kellen, uh, I'm glad Gareth Bale got brought up because he plays for Wales. He's arguably their best player. We just happened to play <laughs> Wales first in the world cup. So how many times <laughs> have you told him in the, in the locker room, Hey, we're going to dunk on you guys in game <laughs> one on November 21st. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been a little bit quiet. Uh, it, it started when he first came in. Uh, we had a little bit of banter, a little bit back and forth. But I, I told him recently, I'm like, when it gets closer to, to World Cup time, I'm going to start kicking you on the field. And <laughs> not 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 in the sense I want him, you know, injured and sidelined, but, you know, going to the World Cup where he, he got a little bit of cuts and bruises where he's feeling it. So um, <laughs> it, it's friendly banter, friendly banter. But uh, no, I mean, uh, yeah, he's a great dude. And, uh, you know. I'm, I'm I'm excited to to obviously play with him. It's I mean he's a guy that you know I admired for a long time, but um, you know on the international stage I can't play can't wait to play against him and also kick him on the field and, and <laughs> hopefully hopefully uh, prevail and win. That's the spirit, Kellen. All right, <laughs> go ahead, Heath. Hey, so you you finish the season with a loss against Nashville and then you go into a bye week, right? Are you a, are you a fan of the bye week uh, going into the playoffs or, or or are you one that wants to just get straight into it? Because that's a that's a decent little gap before you have your next match. Yeah, I mean, it's well, for start, it was sour taste in our mouths because we, we did lose our last game and we felt like we deserved a little bit more. And then we had the celebrations right afterwards. So it was, it was a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, the, for the bye week, I mean, it's it, it kind of just depends on the season. If you have a, a team that's kind of banged up and, you know, need some guys to recover um then it's like kind of positive but i think for us i think everyone's healthy everyone's ready excited so kind of the bye week uh isn't really beneficial um we would rather just you know just keep on rolling hey um, what hold, hold on hold on what's that noise what's that noise in the background who's who keeps screaming oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well we got a uh, like a 15 versus 15 staff game <laughs> Who's screaming? Somebody out out the person that's screaming. Yeah, someone. Yeah, is someone screaming Thornton. right now? 
has to be yeah, Jordan it's Harvey. Not, it, yeah, I feel like it'd be Thornton. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Someone screaming, right. it's got to be Thornton. Yeah, he's he's competitive. He, even in this game, I mean, I, I've seen him put in some tackles, and he's yelling <laughs> at guys to get in position. So, uh, yeah, that's that's John Thornton, everyone. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to butter you up, so don't take this in that in that way, but I picked LAFC to win MLS Cup. Here we okay? go. Oh, I'm wow. just throwing yeah, that out real, there. Real, real flyer, that one is, okay. Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go, Charlie. Hey, you look at, there's a lot of people who are – who don't have LAFC winning given their roster. Okay. So you're playing Nashville or Galaxy in the playoffs, the winner of that game. Nashville just beats you. Galaxy, it's always a rivalry. But what do you think you need to do to ensure that you guys are holding MLS Cup at the end of this run? Because ultimately, with this group, you should win, right? But it always doesn't work like that. What do you guys have to be conscious of to make sure that you don't have a slip up? Yeah, thinking that this game is just going to be easy, um, you know, playing at home. Obviously, we we, we have the 3252. That's our our energy and our motivation. But I think, uh, especially during this year, we've faced a lot of adversity in games where we've had a slow first half and even better second half. But for us to you know take our game to the next level and hold up that trophy, we need to have a complete game from from start to finish. And uh, we kind of shown that in the in the national game, despite not winning. Uh, I thought we created a lot of opportunities. I thought we controlled the game. So we, we in that sense, want to be more clinical in front of goal. But, I mean, otherwise, I thought we were pretty sound. And I think we've had some games where we can kind of look back and, and kind of grow. And some games where, you know, we, we struggled a bit. But I think that that's important for us to, to realize, you know, what it takes um, to win a game and to, to lift a trophy. Um, so, like I said, I mean, you got to just play a complete game and, and for for LAFC for us, I mean, we we talk about we want to play you know beautiful football and you want to pass around teams, be dynamic and energetic. But sometimes these games aren't that way, and mm -hmm. you got to roll up the sleeves and grind and and you know just figure out a way to win. And that's how champions are made. And and I think uh, if you've seen like past winners, you know teams that go all the way through, they might not be the most you know um, prettiest team footballing wise, but they win. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. The last time that I think LAFC played the Galaxy in the playoffs at the bank, I was there. It was a 6-3 game, I believe. I Slotton there. scored a couple goals. It was a crazy yeah. game. And I want that again. So I'm hopeful the Galaxy can do the business <laughs> so you guys can face them. Now, just to throw a stat out there, just seven of the last 26 Supporter Shield winners have gone on to win MLS Cup. Has that been part of the conversation from Steve Terundolo at all, that you're trying to break that? Or have I just jinxed you guys? I hope I didn't. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you know that's what? just a statistical anomaly. I think for us, it's just like, yeah, like the past is the past. And, I mean, for us, we 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 make our own future, right? So Steve has not mentioned it. I did not know that either. <laughs> uh, everyone always, I mean, to people, I, I didn't know the exact number. People talk about the supporter shield curse, but who cares? Who cares? For us, it's just about going out there, putting our best foot forward, and, you know, try to have a complete game and, um, you know, play our game and, and be diligent in, in our, our tactics, our defending and our attacking, and let the chips fall where they may. Let me ask you about you, your, you know, you to speak about yourself personally. You know, what you talked about the work that you do and Elia does, and it's a lot of that dirty work, right? It's not the, the big, beautiful, glor glory stuff that, that you see within the game. And at times, it only feels like you see the strengths that you have or Ilya has when, when you're off the field, you see the gaps, right? You don't see because it's not, it's not the big goals assist. Of course, you're amazing at set pieces, but what do you think makes you? a good player both on the national team as well as as well as for this LAFC side. Yeah, I mean like you said before, I mean what I do is not glamorous, but I think from my standpoint, like I mentioned before, is to make everyone's job a lot easier. What is that just spatial awareness is taking players away um in terms of in and having space for for our, our our creative guys to to you know play to their strengths and defensively is also covering for those guys because usually those are the guys that you know they don't want to run as much i know you being a defender you, you know what it is Charlie, <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. I, I ran a, I ran yeah. a good amount for yeah. Sure. yeah you did, you did. Sure. they they, they invented they invented corner flags for charlie so he knew when to put his head up <laughs> stop running <man. laughs> otherwise no, otherwise exactly. he'd run straight he'd run straight into a he'd run like straight into a bleacher. he's like yeah, forrest he'd run, yeah. run straight into a wall eventually <laughs> There's nothing wrong. Yeah, with I that. mean, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just, it's just winning the ball back and and finding finding our creative guys and you know 
letting them play their games and try to bring the best out of them. So, I mean, for me, I think I do a good job of, you know, bringing the best out of uh, out of everyone around me and, you know, trying to to help them play at their best of their abilities because, I, you know, when we all have, you know, good games, then we get positive results. And so that's my mo- main focus is to, you know, better everyone around me. Hey, Charlie, well, real quick, follow up, follow up real quick uh, on yeah. this. Is this the best team you've ever played on, Kellen, in terms of, like, you feel yeah, your question. chances to win an MLS Cup? Is this the best team? For you talking about LAFC? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, from top, I mean, you looked at, look at, I mean, our starting 11, then you look at our bench, our depth. I mean, I think we we have a, a complete team to, to do that. But, you know, we can, you know, talk about all these different things, but it's all about executing. And so... I mean, overall, I mean, especially just going through this this year and some of the games that we played, I mean, I, I really have a, a positive feeling, you know, going into the playoffs. Kel- Kellen's quietly throwing shade on yeah. FC Dallas and Colorado. Uh, yeah, and I'm course. here for it. I got the <laughs> Hey, that FC it. Dallas team you played with, with, with Morrow? Yeah, and 2016, was, we were good, too. Yeah, yeah we were, we were real good, good too. Team. But I don't know. This team is just more dynamic, I think. I think different attributes. Uh, and I think we've been pretty consistent um, throughout the year.